Dr. Martinez here. I'm about to give you my leg workout. Please pay attention to the form, number of sets, and why I train the way I do. Let's do this. We're gonna start biking, usually about five minutes, because I do so much cardio on non-leg days. Don't do cardio on leg days. Hate to take away from the leg workout. I don't have my toes under the straps because if I put my toes under the straps, this is what happens, look. Put my toes under the straps. I'm pushing with the front of my feet. I don't like pushing with the front of my feet. I like warming up my quads too. So I push with my heels. Five minutes, again. It's not real cardio. This is just warming up. Start getting that blood flow in my quads. I start off usually with leg extensions and leg curls uh, back to back. Again, I like warming up front of my knees, back of my knees, quads, hamstrings, all at once. Try not to let the waist touch. Same way as I would do barbell curls or anything else. Constant tension, squeeze at the bottom. You could do a pause. Problem is when you go heavier, usually try to get a spot. Because if you try to do it on your own, that hold alone can actually tear your hamstrings. Stretching is part of your regimen. No, uh, most people are usually in a rush. They gotta be somewhere. They don't stretch. The duction inside again. Working out quads, so a lot of working muscles and tendons. So if there's one you don't stretch, you can actually pull it. One of the things when you always start using double legs, uh, leg uh, squats, both legs, leg press, hack squat, tend to favor one side more than the other. So I like to uh, flare up each leg individually in the beginning, therefore creating the non-compensation on one side. People think going all the way down, deep squatting, misperception on that because your back is against the force. They will not let you move in a, in a natural position. So if you go too low, that butt comes off, all that weight's bearing down on you. Ooh, pobrecito, the lumbar.
everyone's favorite, the squat. I don't go down on the bucket because same thing, uh, knees, hips, um, lumbar, you name it. Um, most people that I know squatted on the bucket before are not doing it these days because obvious reasons. So I wanna keep doing this. So it's enough to feel the quad, enough to be able to walk the next day. A little soreness, but walking healthy. Let's do this. Notice I'm not thrusting forward and squeezing my glutes. Why? Because you don't want to hump when you're squatting. You're focusing on the quads. Should be only quads. You're hitting the glutes indirectly. You're hitting your hands indirectly. There's an exercise for glutes. It's called kickbacks. It's called hip thrust. You don't want to hip thrust with the bar on your back, because the weight and gravity is under you. You're gonna create a lot of lumbar, hip problems in the future, or the weight is bearing down on your back and down your spine into the lumbar. Leg press, I go closer, but not too close. Just enough to hit the outer quad. Other times, I will go wide, four sets, close. Final exercise for quads. I'll try to combine this with leg extension. So every two sets of hack, I will add one leg extension. In my foot positioning, again, can't get enough sweep. That's where I lack and I try to focus the most. I don't like to bounce off my knee, but I like to push off my quad. <sighs> Yeah. <sighs> 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 
Okay guys, that was the last set of my leg workout for today. Thanks for watching Muscle and Strength. Be sure to subscribe below.